Hello, welcome back. Uh, another short video about uh, my tools for streaming and it might not sound um, immediately intuitive to you, but Little Nafmap is actually a streaming tool for me. Why? Well, first of all, what is Little Nafmap? Little Nafmap is a fantastic uh, map tool that not only does mapping but and, and, and following your flight, um, and even allows you to do kind of creation of flight plans and things like that. So, uh, Little Nav Map, I've already made a video about it too, um, is a very versatile tool. Um, let me quickly, let me quickly <laughs> take that out. I'm I'm explaining that strange window in a moment. Um, so, Little Nav Map is 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 a mapping tool. It's it's a freeware uh, or let's say donationware. If you want to donate, you can. Uh, the guy is really has really worked uh, hard on it for a long time um, and there are still updates. They may not be as frequently uh, these days, but um, Little Love Map has matured quite a bit. So uh, I use this for a number of things, mainly as a, as a map. Um, and that's what I want to concentrate on. I use it as a one possibility for me to do a map overlay. Um, you may have seen already in my Sim Toolkit Pro that a video about the Sim Toolkit Pro streaming tools that I now use a lot the streaming tool overlay from uh, Sim Toolkit, which is okay if I do not want to make any modifications to the map. If I don't want to zoom in, if I don't want to look at things uh, more closely, then this map is fine, the Sim Toolkit Pro. But if I want to do all these things I just said, um, the OBS overlay for from Sim Toolkit Pro does not allow you to make a lot of modifications. And if then that's awkward, you have to go into Sim Toolkit Pro, you have to change the zoom level, uh, and then it has to refresh, and it's it's just not the same. Okay, so with Little Nav Map, um, I can load, let's say, a flight plan. Let's do that. Let's take any any old flight plan. It would display this here. Um, actually, we could uh, clear the. Clear the path, yes, do away with it. And here's the flight plan window. There's awful lots of windows that, can, that pop up. Um, and here's your, here's your flight plan. Now, what I do in order to use this in, in my streams is I bring it down to a small size. And then in OBS, I can show you this uh, very quickly. In OBS, you have these scenes, and here's now the uh, window in the, hang on, let's, deactivate this. So there's this uh, scenes, so we're currently in the so-called live scene and inside the scenes are sources and the sources can be browser windows, they can be uh, windows, program windows and Little Nav Map is such a window thing where I um, where I can connect to an existing program and you can see now here that's this window, all right? Um, and then I can say use this and that's when you can see a uh, little nav map at the top because I have put it on invisible at the moment. I activate it now and that means you should be able to see a little map, nav map now at the top right corner. So the difference between the browser kind of overlay that, that SimToolkit Pro does is that I can go into this program and I can do anything and anything that shows up inside this window, including the flight plan and things like that. Yeah. So for example, I can zeige informationen. Yeah. Then there's this, um, this side window popping up. You can see this as well. This is something that you can't do with a, with a HTML um, overlay um, as SimToolkit Pro does it. And the other thing is I can move here and I can really zoom in and then we can have a taxi view. Although I have other means of doing that, but that's actually very practical uh, if I don't want to have SimToolkit Pro because SimToolkit Pro, the, the, the window itself has huge dimensions. Um, so I only use it now, uh, I only pop it in when, when, I need to, uh, when I need to show you flight plans or some information about um, uh, the plan that uh, come from SimToolkit Pro. But uh, I wouldn't use the SimToolkit Pro main window for for a permanent overlay. Um, 
so here I can actually zoom in and the further you zoom in, the more information comes. So for example, very often in Try and Fly, we are on position A184 and you can see the taxiways, Whiskey 1, Charlie 4, Charlie 2. It's not quite accurate um, at the moment because none of the sceneries uh, in X-Plane depict the new, uh, the construction site here of the new terminal extension. Terminal 1 gets extended on this side here, so actually at the moment you are not able to park here. Um, you can park here, but uh, Whiskey 1, you can't use um, Oscar 1, as far as I'm, or at least not this part of Oscar 1. Um, depending on where the construction site starts, it could be that there is still Charlie 2, and then you need to come from Oscar 1 basically to Charlie 2, but they're going to extend this whole area and they make more more positions there and a the new building. So that's the big, big difference between a static overlay or a fairly static overlay as it would come from sim 2 Git Pro, for example, and uh, the little nav map, which allows me to really make it small, very small. That's sim 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 toolkit. Sim toolkit Pro. Um, <laughs> this name is uh, giving me trouble here now. Uh, sim toolkit Pro does not allow me to make it s that small. Yeah, and that's what I need in order to have a reasonable overlay that is not too obstructive, but is still flexible enough for me to to show you things. You know, to zoom in, to also show you map details. Uh, interactively, uh, all that is not possible with with a, a static HTML overview, uh, over over lay as it comes from Sim Toolkit Pro. I think I need a coffee now. <laughs> okay, um, that's it. Very quickly shown to you how I use a little nav map for the video stuff. Um, all of that hangs together with OBS. OBS is the central piece uh, for streaming and, and video making that I use. Um, and all these other tools that I show you, they are kind of the ecosystem around it. And I make use of them uh, as, it, as it's best, um, as it makes sense for me too. Um, and uh, yeah, Little Love Map still belongs to the, to the set of tools that I uh, usually need. Thanks for watching, until next time.